let's let's move on. Let's move on. What else we got going on? We got compromised Joe Button. Now I made a video about this. I said that Joe Button was compromised, but it seems like he finally broke. And he finally came out and said something about Diddy. He finally came out and said something that people was expecting him to say. So he came back and he uh he gave Diddy the smoke. All right, so let's listen to uh Joe Button talk about this. Now, one of the things that I hi highlighted last time is, you know, Joe Button was accused of doing some some things to one of his ex-girlfriends, and that's going to be one of my topics over here. So I was like, damn, Joe Button, how can you talk about this when allegedly, it's alleged, all alleged, you know, you did something to some women. But I don't know if that's true or false, right? Anybody be anybody could be accused, but you know, um, you know, it's, it's just it's you know, it's a hard thing, man. It's a hard thing. Unfortunately, you know, you do have some women that do lie about this, and you have women that tell the truth. So times like this, you know, you never know. You never know when somebody's lying or when somebody's telling the truth. You know. But unfortunately, that's what it has come down to, you know. So let's see what Joe Button got to say about Diddy or how he about to go off on Diddy. Joe damn there has to crash out on Puff in order for people to be satisfied. People want to hear Joe curse out Puff. They also want to hear Joe condemn him as well. Well, today on the Joe Button Podcast, episode 727, Joe delivered and gave the fans exactly what they wanted. Here's what Joe said about Puff and Cassie and also about the apology video. We're starting with uh, the news that CNN broke last week where they obtained hotel footage of Puff. She's been abusing her ex on the show. She's been abusing. What do you mean he? Joe Button X. Violently, graphically stalking and attacking Cassie. Uh, if that other angle come out, maybe kidnapping is. Now, nah, now, nah, well, I'm going to talk about that when I play the next video. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just save my comments about that for the, for the. We got True in the building. True, True, what's good, True? True Pack, aka True S. Super shattered ten dollars. D mod me up. In case one of my haters want to fly me out, I am still trying to get you some B-Day money and so I can go on a paid vacation so you can donate to my margaritas fund. Tropical drink. Tropical drink. Appreciate you, Dancer. True. Appreciate you, True. Uh, I, didn't even, I didn't even pay attention who's the mod over here. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm on I'm on DMD Live News. Who 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 is my mods in here? I don't even know who, who is my mods. I wasn't even looking. Barbie? Okay, Barbie's in. All right. Oh shit! I was about to time you out. Oops, wrong button. All right. Well, but when it turned the corner, we don't get to mm -hmm. we don't get to see. But you ran a long way down that hallway, and if you dragged her even four more feet, yeah, we now include kidnapping. That shit was disgusting. What we all had to witness. Mm, kidnapping. Now, that was one of the things that I said, yo, he was determined. And, you know, uh, I had a conversation yesterday. Uh, and, and I was like, yo, Diddy didn't, Diddy didn't care about nothing. Right. Because somebody could have easily, somebody could have easily um, came up on an elevator or someone could have easily just opened a door and seen Diddy run in the hallway. But, but one thing somebody uh, pointed out is normally, you know, people in Diddy's, uh, you know, people, people like Diddy, they will rent out the whole floor. So I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So I'm like, damn, he was brave as hell just to run out of there with no draws on, pause, no Diddy, and, and just in the towel. That makes sense, you know. Maybe Diddy rented out that whole floor so it was just him and Cassie, which which makes sense. Allegedly, allegedly. So maybe that's why he was so, you know, confident and, and didn't give a fuck about running in the hallway. And I'm sure he wasn't quiet when he did that. There was no audio in that video, but I'm sure he wasn't quiet. I'm sure he was loud. I'm sure he was cussing. I'm sure he was fussing. So maybe that's why nobody came out of 
came out of their rooms because maybe he allegedly could it be renting out that that whole floor, which would make sense why he was so damn <laughs> confident just running running out there in public. You know what I'm saying? Could it be? Could it be? Kidnapping that shit was disgusting. What we all had to witness. That shit was almost unbearable to watch. I'm certain that that was triggering for a lot of people, Absolutely. a lot of people that saw it. And that was Friday. I assumed that he would go and just hide somewhere. But why would you do that when you are just a glutton for attention? Mm. So he pops right back What's out. Up, Talk is? about tone deaf. Talk about inability to read a room. Where are the fucking publicists? Where's anybody in this moment? But he pops back out with this half-hearted bullshit apology Max. that was like, it was almost offensive. It was, it was, it was like a slap in the face, that apology. I didn't even watch it. Max. I don't need to hear from him. I mean, I watched it because it was quick. It wasn't even, he didn't even try to put some sincerity mm -hmm. into this thing. That CNN Puff story broke as we were recording. Literally. Mm -hmm. And while we did touch on it, when I listened back, I didn't feel like enough time was devoted to just how much of a fucking lunatic that nigga looked like and what that means industry-wide mm -hmm. for all parties involved. Um, I think this broadcast is too big and comes with a great responsibility in matters like this. And I know that a lot of the music industry listens to this podcast. And I don't think this is the last of it, nor do I think that he's the only one. So at any point, we want to start having some uncomfortable conversations. Not only am I down for it, but I'm down to initiate it because this shit is a mess mm -hmm. out here. And he looks like a fucking nut. He looks like a complete monster, just a complete evil mm -hmm. piece of shit. Damn. Sheesh. And we need more people, especially what podcasts is like, uh, Joe Buttons. People that have this type of reach, that has this type of audience, they need to speak out on this. Yeah, y'all are a part of this. And just over glancing it and just skipping it and just act like this ain't happening, you know, I think that's a little sus. I think that's a little sus. I mean, it's clear as day. Video don't lie. Men lie. Women lie. Video don't. There's no way there's no way you can just over glance and overlook what's on video. We've seen it on video. So so just imagine what, what Diddy was saying to her. Now, there's no audio in that video, but I'm sure he was loud cussing, probably saying some crazy shit to her. All right. So, uh, yeah, everybody that's, you know, in the position of of uh, Joe Button. And y'all have a platform, y'all have Twitch or YouTube or Rumble or, you know, any type of social media platform that y'all speak on other topics. Y'all got to speak on this because this shit ain't right. This shit ain't right. What I saw, what I saw on that video, as horrific as it was, lends a lot of credence to anything horrific I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's the uncomfortable spot. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all uncomfortable. Let me be clear. Mm -hmm. But maybe he was unaware of some of the things that were out there about him. Cap. Cap. Eh, stop, bro. Diddy is full aware of all the freaky tales that is out there about him. He ain't living under a rock. He know exactly people, people be talking about, you know, man, come on. There is no way Diddy don't hear about the rumors that is going out there about him. Cap. Cap, cap, Diddy, Diddy is full aware, full aware of all the freaky tales that's been floating around, all the rumors and all the allegations. Diddy know. That real niggas is just running around saying, nah, shit sounds so crazy. When you hear about people blowing up cars, it sounds like some movie shit. Mm -hmm. I need, I need, I need footage. I need, I need something. When you start hearing about some of the other things we've heard about, I think that video allows for everything to be back on the table. Anything that you've ever heard now is just on the table. You lying sack of shit. There we go. You and you tone up and you tone deaf and you so tone deaf. You on Instagram saying shit like time will tell the truth. And everybody you don't know when to shut the fuck up. Now they actually did a full hour. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's what we need right there. Time will tell the truth. Motherfucker, we don't need time. We saw the video. This nigga talking about time tells the truth. Nigga, we don't need time. We saw the video. We got it on video. The fuck you talking about? 
I know when to shut the fuck up. Now they actually did a full hour. Big fat. You on Instagram saying shit like time will tell the truth. And every you don't know when to shut the fuck up. Now they actually did a full hour plus deep dive on the Diddy topic. So make sure you guys go check out the full episode or just in general. All right. So that's that. But there's a counter to that. Everybody like, yo, Joe, good thing that you speak enough for Diddy. But allegedly, and this was one of my points, allegedly, um, Joe Button allegedly put his hands and people on, had a lot of things to put his hands on uh Tierra. I, th I think that's her name. Taya, Tia, T Tia, Taya, T T that old big booty Puerto Rican Spanish girl. I forgot her name. Allegedly, th th this is all alleged, right? So that's what what was one one of my talking points. I'm like, you know. If you got caught up in this situation, you might not want to be the spokesperson of this. And that's why that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? Joe Button don't want to talk about this because he didn't put his his hands on women. Allegedly, could it be? Those are rumors out there. No, you know, I don't have the facts and evidence. I ain't got no video footage. But allegedly. Joe Button didn't put his hands on women. And you know what? Appreciate you, ball head Wayne, with the 20. Let's get it. Let's get it. Tahiri. Tahiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head Wayne Tahiri. super shattered $19.99. Salute D and chat. Appreciate you with the 1999. Let's get it, baby. Salute, salute. Appreciate the 1999. Ball head Wayne up in this day. So allegedly, could it be? Could it be? Then play my job. Play my job, man. Play my shit. Could it, is, could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be, chat? Could it be? Let me say because I, now I got to be very careful. Could it be? Is it possible? Allegedly, could it be? 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 I don't know. And I have to speak this way because when you're living under threats of people who are trying to control media narratives as lawyers, I have to speak this way. Could it be? So once again, could it be? Now, this is what my theory was, right? This is why I thought. This is what uh, this is why Joe Button didn't, didn't really say nothing about Diddy, because, you know, he allegedly was accused of the same thing. But now Tahiri, I, th I think that's how I name. She has come out and spoke against Joe Button. So Joe Button, ex-girlfriend, saw Joe Button talk about Diddy, of how he's so disgusted of Diddy and how this and that, how dare he, he looked like a mad, mad man. He, but, 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 but she like, hold on, hold on, nigga. How you going to talk about Diddy when you did it me? Allegedly. How you going to talk about Diddy, but you did it me? Allegedly. So Joe Button responds to his ex accusing him of touching him in the wrong way. Let's get it. To say, especially his ex girlfriend and others on his show. What's up, y'all? Is your man Talkers Road Report for the Chicks Move channel? We got to talk about this. Before we get into what Tahiri had to say about it, here's E. Tahiri. That's the name. Tahiri. Manny on today's episode of the Joe Budden podcast. Mm -hmm. The elephant in the room, um, I had a lot of people kind of like champion a post I made on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then I had a lot of people also in the comments kind of like, how can you take that stance? But you sit next to someone who's been accused of things mm -hmm. and all that. And at first I was like, ah, do I even pay attention to it? Because I already know where I stand. But let's, let's just keep it a stack. Let's just keep it a buck. Um, you guys had a lot of things to say in comparison to some of the things that Joe has been accused of, right? All the people in the comments I want to ask, I'm going to address it. I've never seen, I've never been told by him that he's ever done anything like that. I love him. I take his word for it. If the day comes where that to be a lie and I find out anything different, I will address him in the proper channel, the proper way, and I will make every statement in the same fashion that would need to be said. This type of reaction seems to be why people wanted the Joe Budden podcast to address it so that the narrative can be flipped onto Joe Budden, whether it's right or wrong. The Shade Room will post about Joe Budden's response and Tahiri will jump in the comments saying, this whole sh took me out. So hard to watch. So sorry for Cassie and every other woman who is currently going through it or has ever gone through it. It's tough. She will continue now talking about Joe, F out of here. Who? The irony. This is so triggering. I remember Joey throwing me down a flight of stairs, dragging me back into the house, and me having to talk him into letting me go. But Joe.
Allegedly. All right. So apparently the shade room posted Joe's button. Joe, Joe button response to Diddy. So Tahiri comes in the comment section and she says what she says. Allegedly, she like, oh, wow. I see that, you know, Joe button is speaking against Diddy. But hold on. You did it me a, a while back. The irony. This so-called, this is so triggering. I remember Joey allegedly throwing me down a flight of stairs and dragging me back into the house and me having to talk him into letting me go, allegedly. Now, see, this is why you got to kind of, especially when you're a public figure, you kind of got to watch how you are in the media. You know, now, Joe Budden is a very firecracker. You know, he's, he, he, he's a little hot tamale, you know. He definitely has a little sass in his pizzazz, you know. I done seen him flip out a lot of times, right? I didn't, I, I didn't see Joe got some very female traits, right? He, he, he a little sassy little diva, right? Joe Button a little sassy little diva. Now, do I 100% believe this young lady? Uh, you know, I'm just saying it's not far-fetched. If this comes out to be true, I won't be surprised. How about that? If, this, if, if she can prove it and it comes out that she's telling the truth, I won't be surprised because he definitely seemed like to be that type allegedly just in my opinion just how I, I seen him have interactions he, he seemed like he might be that type you know what i mean I, I don't know he seemed like he definitely is capable of doing something like that like I've, I've i've been paying attention to joe and that's just my opinion i'm not saying that he is i'm saying that just based on his behavior if you want me to to say hey do you believe that she's telling truth? Do you think she capping? All I'm going to say is I wouldn't be surprised if she's telling the truth. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Right? But she wrote this under the shade room and Joe Budden responded back. Would see that comment and respond in kind, saying, Tahiri, you are a lying, failed gold digger that has abused, targeted, and manipulated many men. Outside of me, you lack an identity, which is why you've tried desperately to attach yourself to me for over 15 years. The last time I saw you, I purchased a mattress from you and you were happy you made the sale. You were fine then. There was that night after Starlet six years ago when you invited me inside your new place. You were fine then too. You were on my body your entire last day on Love and Hip Hop and tried your best to disrespect my son's mother in the process. I had to ask producers to keep you away from us like the cancer you are. Yet you continue to slight my name online because it's your identity Damn. i don't speak to you or about you because it's low vibrational Damn. you're a low level dykeman con woman who's been lying about you already know for ages Damn. i pray you heal and move on one day hopefully this is our last exchange prayers to all real victims Damn. You are a lying, fell gold digger. Outside of me, you have a like a lack of identity. When you tried desperately to attach yourself to me over 15 years ago, last time I saw you, I purchased a mattress from you and you were happy that you made a sale. Wait, 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 wait. So you telling me she worked in one of those bed little places? She Allegedly, she was a salesperson and selling beds and shit. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have proof of that? Last time you saw her, what, she was selling beds and pillows and shit, allegedly? And you bought one of her, so you gave her a sale? One of her first sales? Wait, 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 what? The fuck? The fuck going on, man? Mm, interesting, interesting. A used mattress? Yeah, he said that... <laughs> It says, it says what outside of the of the lack of identity? Da, 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 da. The last time I saw you, I purchased a mattress from you. And you were happy that you made a sale, made a sale. So he seemed like he's making it seem like that she was working for, you know, a business that was selling beds, mattresses, probably pillows, you know, 
try to, you know, add, hey, if you if you buy this, you know, you or you want to get the insurance. Oh, oh, we got a mattress. We got an air balloon. You know, all that shit. Damn. Mattress firms. Yeah, she was over there selling mattress at mattress firms. So you telling me this big booty. Tahiri, hold on, hold on. Let me see. What's her name? The real Tahiri. Hold on. So you telling me this, 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 this big booty. Puerto Rican. Oh, let me see. I don't know what she is. I don't know if she is she Dominican. She's something. So you telling me I can go to Mattress Firm right now and I could possibly run into a Tahiri? I mean, she boy, she she was out here selling mattresses and shit. This one right here. She was out here selling mattresses. Hey. Not a well, she, that's a good thing, but you know what I'm saying? She, hey, so so you telling me she was out here selling mattresses. Tahiri. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa. So you telling me I could go and buy a mattress from, from something like this right now. God damn. Mm, I want I want the bunk bed, I want everything. Prayer to all real victims. Tahiri Wood responded to Joe Budden saying, you can say whatever you want about me. Those that know me, know. I'm not scared of you anymore. You can keep bullying, intimidating the rest. Those that know you and are around you also know the truth. Sad that they continue to enable your behavior. Your time is coming. That's an ominous threat about Tahiri. But what do you think? Damn, your time is coming. Oh, shit. Dang, so... We about to have a, a surviving Diddy. And then next up on the plate is surviving Joe Buttons. God damn. I don't know, Joe. I think you capping, man. I don't think that that she was working at Mattress Firm. I find that hard to believe, man. That's <laughs> she goes, she was working at a mattress firm, boy. She was working at a place selling mattresses. Come on, man. I'm 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 calling Cap Butter. I don't, I, I, I nah. Bro, I don't believe that, man. If you if you trying to make me believe that she was working at a at a bedspread sh selling bed sheets and pillow sheets and stuff, I'm not. I'm calling cap. I'm calling cap. Bro. I'm calling cap. Think about this. Let me know in the comment section. Peace. Hey guys, shop my. All right, so we got that. Uh, that's interesting. What's up, soulmate? Salute to soulmate. Hold on, I want I want to go back to to her Instagram. I want to see if she replied on. On, on anything i'm calling cap on that i don't believe that she was out here s selling bed sheets and stuff <laughs> tell me she over here selling bed sheets and goddamn let me see what the video is cap cap now 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 fellas Y'all believe she over here selling mattresses? I, I, I see a pillow. I see a mattress. Y'all telling me she over here selling bed sheets? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'll knock that motherfucker out the park. You sure right? I'll knock that motherfucker. Y'all knock that motherfucker. I see two pillows. See a king side. Hold on. So you telling me she out here selling them dumb dumb cheeks was out there. So you telling me? Nah, I'm 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 calling cap. I'm calling cap. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. 